break me off, I have to up, yeah Is there a point to all these fancy clothes? With all this buckles from your head down to your toes Very simple, but I'm just another girl for joining us. I'm Calista Solon and this is NLC Trans. Tonight I'm here with my dear friend and usual co-host Tara Alexander and we have tonight Ron Suresha who is a return guest um, and Thanks. by the way <laughs> made the mistake of mentioning to me that he would uh, be willing to come on the show on a sort of semi-regular basis so <laughs> you, will, you will almost certainly be seeing Ron on a regular basis which is very cool. Um, <laughs> see, see how I... Uh, Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway it, um, it really should be troublemaker in chief. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Ron is a, an accomplished uh, author, and uh, also you um, have been reviewing um, other people's work, and uh, in fact, you've brought a bunch of stuff to show us tonight, which um, sure. is going to be very, very interesting. It's uh, certainly books that are interesting to us, anyway, and to uh, and our community. I think, uh, I think your uh, audience will find them of uh, interest, and I certainly hope so. The books that I brought are the finalists in this year's um, Transgender uh, category for the Lambda Literary Awards, or otherwise known as the Lammies. And uh, I had a book that was a finalist in, a, in another category, in bisexuality, um, uh, called Bisexual Perspectives on Kinsey. And um, uh, at the same time, I was uh, uh, asked to be a, a judge, one of four judges, for the trans category. And so I was very, I mean, it's, it's really quite an honor to be yeah. asked to, to do this, and I mean, it's, uh, it's very important. Uh, there were, um, I think, uh, 13 titles that we had to read, and uh, was, uh, which is a lot of, a lot a of lot books of to go through. <laughs> but, um, you know, they're judged on basically two aspects. One is literary um, quality, literary excellence, mm -hmm. and the second one is uh, LGBT content. Mm -hmm. And um, in judging a, a, a category like this, which is cross-genre, I mean, as you'll see, right. we have drama, we have poetry, we have nonfiction, and we have fiction. Wow. And um, so um, I also uh, add a sort of sub-qualification about specific trans content as well. So um, I think that's necessary in, in, in doing it with something a category that's structured like this. Other categories are much more straightforward, like um, you know, uh, first uh, first uh, novel, you right, know, right. Uh, gay first novel. So I mean, it, uh, yeah. in any case, so it was a uh, it was really uh, quite fascinating, a liberal education unto <laughs> itself. <clears throat> and uh, I want to uh, quickly go through uh, the, sure. the five finalists. Um, uh, this is a, uh, a, uh, a transgender study book called Transgender History by uh, Susan Stryker. And uh, it's um, uh, a really comprehensive uh, and concise um, history of the transgender movement. It's, uh, it's illustrated. Um, it's a perfect book, I thought, for um, uh, 
uh, for a, a queer studies course or a gender studies course. Right. Um, there are pictures here like uh, of uh, transsexual lesbian singer and activist Beth Elliott. And um, uh, really, it's, a, it's, a, it's fascinating. I, I really couldn't put it down. Um, I mean, I, I'd seen academic works on, right. um, on transgender uh, and interesting topics. but dry. <laughs> and interesting but dry. So this is really readable, and I, and I, I hope that it will uh, make it into uh, uh, gender studies courses um, ar around the country. Um, this is a, a book of poetry that had already won a, a, an award called Boy with Flowers by Eli Shipley, who's a, a trans man. And um, he teaches at the uh, University of Utah. And uh, it's, it was uh, every, every poem I just found captivating. And uh, the other judges also did, too. Um, and uh, I'd like to read the title poem, if I can. Sure. So, you um, this is Boy with Flowers. My aunt loved me, asked me, will you be the flower girl at my wedding? But I'm not a girl, I argued, and she persuaded me. You'll get to throw rose petals onto the aisle, walk before me, both of us crushing them beneath our feet, my gown dragging over them. I agreed. I wanted nothing but chivalry. At the church, my mother and I waited in the small room. She brushed my aunt's hair until the dress arrived. Isn't it beautiful? And I agreed until they tried to put me in it. I'd seen my father and uncle earlier standing in a circle of other men, smoke hovering over their heads, a halo and their voices kind, quiet, and deep. I told my aunt, I want to wear a suit like them. She promised if I wore the dress I could wear anything I wanted after. Army pants, a sheriff badge, cowboy hat, and pistols. My mother shot her a look in the mirror where we posed, both of them angelic and white, and me not yet dressed. Today I wake from another dream in which I have a beard, no breasts, and uh, am about to go skinny dipping on a foreign beach with four other men. I'm afraid to undress, won't take off my shorts, so they grab me, one at each ankle, the other two by each wrist. I am a starfish hardening. The sun hovers above, a hot mirror where I search for my reflection. I close my eyes, it's too intense. The light where my lover is tracing fingertips around two long incisions in my chest. Each sewn tight with stitches, each a naked stem flaring with thorns. Wow. Wow. So, uh, and a, a lot of it is, is, you know, is actually very uh, intense like that uh, and uh, emotional and primal. And it, it's remarkable also because um, the vast majority of books in the trans uh, category mm -hmm. are written by trans women. Right. And, and so th this was really uh, what you know, we thought was a, a spectacular achievement. Uh, Boy with Flowers by Eli Shipley. Um, in a completely different category, we have um, Two Truths and a Lie uh, by Scott Turner Schaufeld. Great, great title. And uh, <laughs> yes, well, uh, uh, Scott is a performance artist and um, who um, uh, is uh, a uh, who is a, a known quantity on um, you know on the transgender performance arts. And uh, this book is also published by